Speaking to Jimmy Smith on Sirius XM Fight Nation 156, Coach Dean Thomas shared what ATT gym life was like when Kobe Covington and Jorge Masvidal both trained there and revealed what Kobe is like out of character. Here's the clip. Uh, it was easy for, for Kobe because, <laughs> because Kobe had problems with a lot of people in the gym. You know, so it was, so Kobe would come in at his own separate times. So he would come in or come in like the back door, train somewhere, and then leave before people caught up to him. And that's how it was. Like he, you know, because he had problems with Dustin Poirier. He had problems with, at some point, a lot of the Brazilian guys, Masvidal. So like he had beef with, you know, whoever who could, whoever wanted to get their hands on him that week. So he always had to stay away from everybody else. But um, with Masvidal, you know, Masvidal lives in Miami. So, like, for him to come up, they would just kind of court, make sure that they would come in at different times or Kobe would pick a call and, yo, is he in there or not? He's not in there. So, so they never really ran into each other at the gym. Kobe is that guy, man. Like, he, wow. is, that, he is that guy. I mean, and it's not really that guy in the gym because in the gym, he's quiet. Like, the one thing we can never take away from Kobe is that he can fight. Yes. And there's a reason why he can fight because he works hard in the gym. He's one of the hardest working guys you'll see in the gym. And and he so he can fight. But in the gym, he's quiet and all he does is work. He's not in there talking. It's just when he comes out of the gym, he's running his mouth. And then everybody's like, wait till I see him at the gym. And then I'm sure Kobe don't want them problems at the gym. Because we know Kobe ain't really about that life. We saw that when, no. Verdum, when Verdum stepped to him and he was like, Wait, huh? What? <laughs> he is like, wait a minute. That's that's just a character. But so we know he ain't really about that life. On Tuesday, ESPN's Brett Okamoto revealed the grudge match between Jorge Masvidal and Colby Covington is set to headline UFC 272 on March 5th. Now, UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman who fought and beat both of them, offered an initial prediction to the upcoming bout between the two rivals. When asked by a fan on Snapchat about who's going to win between Covington and Masvidal, Usman posted this photo and wrote, Kobe. What do you guys think about the Masvidal vs Covington fight? Who do you think is going to win? Let us know in the comments section. According to ESPN's Brett Okamoto, UFC middleweights Kelvin Gastelum and Nasruddin Imavov have agreed to meet at UFC 273 on April 9th. Middleweight fight between Kelvin Gastelum and Nasruddin Imavov has been added to UFC 273 on April 9th per sources. Big one for Kelvin and a chance for Imavov to crack the top 10. Gastelum is still the UFC's 10th ranked middleweight despite a 1-5 record in his last 6 contests. All of those losses came against highly ranked opponents including Robert Whitaker, Israel Adesanya, Jack Hermanson, and Darren Till. In his last outing in August, Kelvin suffered a 5 round decision loss to Jared Cannonier. Meanwhile, the 25 year old Imovov is 3-1 since signing with the UFC in 2020. He is coming off a TKO win over Edmund Shabazian in November. Charles Oliveira defeated Dustin Poirier at UFC 269 via third round submission in December, successfully defending his lightweight title. The Brazilian currently holds the record for the most submission wins in UFC history. But Javier Mendez the longtime coach of Habib and Islam believes that the current UFC lightweight champ would be in for a very rude awakening if he crossed paths with either of his star pupils. 
Speaking on his YouTube channel, Mendez has suggested that both Habib Nurmagomedov and Islam Makachev would dominate Charles Oliveira. I know they both would beat Charles, in my opinion, because look, they're both my fighters. Stylistically wise, Islam can strike, he can kick. Habib wasn't a great kicker. Habib would have to go straight to the grappling with Charles and probably dominate him there. As a matter of fact, I know he would. I know Khabib would dominate him there and I kind of feel, my personal opinion, as great as Charles is, I think Islam would dominate him there too. Speaking to UFC News a few days ahead of UFC Vegas 46, Calvin Qatar explained what he has learned from his recent loss to Max Holloway and revealed why he is not spending energy on talking trash and promoting the fight anymore. Here's the clip. It's not like a new thing, but it's more than ever. I don't give a f really about any of the bullshit. This that sh this is all crap, man. It's all bullshit. Really want to step in there is what's going to matter. You know what I mean? So I'm just focused on the sh that matters. Um, I, I get that this is a big part of the game, but like I said, I just kind of spent on, on all the bullshit and I just want to go in and uh, especially after the last performance I'm not so focused on all the right things to say and, and promoting the fight and all this and that and I know it's a, your job as a main event to try to go out and do some of that but I'll let Giga keep you know digging himself uh, a deeper hole and, and you know I'll let, I'll let him handle all the talking from there and I'll grab the shovel when it's time to bury him yeah, I, I really got nothing to say about that guy. I got I got a lot to prove, but nothing to say. But Barbosa was a good W, man. He he's done what he had to do with the guys he's he's gone against. You know, credit to him. And now he's got the fight that he was asking for. So, um, you know, he's got a lot to prove because he had a lot to say. I don't know. I'm just ready to get another rep. Like I said, it's just like, what do you do when you say so? You you got to get up, dust yourself off, and step up to the plate again, or grab and go home. And that ain't me. Here are the top three memes you guys posted on MMAMemes.com. In third place is a meme posted by user that drunk Irish. Second place goes to MMA guy. And the number one voted meme was posted by a user named Connor McTapper. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, Go to MMAMemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.